Hey everyone, good to be here with you today. Uh, this is our uh, live Q&A session, the new time. Thank you for your flexibility, allowing me to, your flexibility is allowing me to, um, to do my firefighting training, which is really important to me. So, so thank you for that. And uh, for the next couple of weeks, we won't have a q and I'll be away uh, in New Zealand, hopefully, if everything goes well. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm taking it from there. Hey, Lisa, good to see you again. Um, yeah, let's get to the questions. I'm super excited. We have some seriously good questions uh, for us today. We were actually a little bit inundated, so I'm going to have to keep it keep it simple. Um, so the first question is from Abby. Uh, what happens when we prioritize our inner parent over our adult self? I remember when I, f when I was first learning the skills of extroversion, I took influence from my ENFJ friend and produced lots of Facebook videos in her style. But I didn't like watching the videos back. For my curiosity, can you describe how this priority swap could trip us up and the problems this could, would cause? Okay, so... First of all, the fact that you've done outward facing extroverted uh, activities and you've, you know, done these videos and you might not like to see them, you might not like to see them uh, playing back to you because you probably don't feel like you're being completely yourself doesn't actually mean that they didn't have value. And I, in fact, I would, I would challenge you to look at it a little bit differently. I would challenge you to look at it as you practicing your extroverted skills. So we are not 100% introverted or 100% extroverted. And if we're an introvert, like I know, Abby, you are, um, then doing extroverted stuff can feel really yucky. You know, it can feel really um, un, um, or inauthentic. It can feel like it's not exactly, you know, your style, but that doesn't mean that, first of all, that the videos didn't serve a purpose or have give value to a lot of other people. But secondly, that that it was a mistake to do that because you learned to do some extroverted stuff that actually changed you and your introversion to a certain degree. And I'm wondering if you're just not aware of. Uh, of of those uh, benefits that came from doing that. So what I would I would like to challenge you to go back to those videos and watch them, and look at uh, and embrace the extroversion that you are putting across from, with those videos. So embracing that you've learned to extrovert a bit more. That doesn't mean that you have to keep the videos there. If they're not a full representation of who you are, then take them down. If you don't want to go down that road, you don't want to be, you know, uh, branded that way as the person that you are, then take them down. But don't boo-boo, you know, don't, don't kind of go, oh, there's no value in it because there's a lot of value in it. You just have to find the value. So when we prioritize our inner parent over our adult self, we do tend to use skills that we wouldn't normally use that we wouldn't that kind of can put us into a uh, compromised position but if we if we are deliberate about how we use our inner parent and how we use our adult self then acquiring those skills practicing to using the inner parent skills over the adult self skills is actually a, a benefit to uh, rounding you up, making you more, having you, you know, giving you more of the extroversion piece, um, giving you better access to it, faster access to it. Um, and yeah, so it has a lot of positives to, to do it, but to do it deliberately. If you do it unconsciously, then it generally leads into self-sacrifice. And that, of course, is a uh, that is a big thing that can really trip us up, is that we sacrifice ourselves you know, the, the, who we are as the introverted person uh, in this case, uh, in, in uh, f you know, we sacrifice ourselves for other people and that's not healthy. And the same way for an extrovert, 
uh, if you are relying totally on your inner parent, so your inward facing, your subjective experience, then you uh, become self-focused and you prioritize yourself. If this is unhealthy, if the inner parent is unhealthy, you prioritize yourself over other people. So neither one of those approaches is healthy because there's no balance. So the, the healthy balanced version of this is that you are who you are as a part of a, a, a bigger whole. So if you can always kind of refer back to that, how can I turn up here and, and, ha and give, you know, myself and other people um, benefits here? What, what's the way of, of doing that? Then that's probably the most rounded way of showing up. And again, it comes back to those four questions. You know, if you're making a decision about anything, about yourself or the outside world, um, just ask these questions, you know, do I have all the facts to make this decision? Is this the most effective way of doing this? Um, number three, does this feel right for me? Um, you know, is this authentic for me? And number four, is this the most harmonious way of doing this? And if you satisfy those, all those four different kind of qualities or uh, four different um, aspects of the decision making, then you generally don't um, prioritize any one of your the, any one of the parts of you over anybody else, any other parts of you. So that's what I would say to that. Uh, the problems that it can cause for introverts is self sacrifice and for extroverts is um, is people thinking you're up your own bum. I hope that answers that question for you.